Hi, Sarah Levin, the Artful Linker here, and today I'm going to share with you how to make this easy purse. There were a load of Micro Kors uh, handbags in my Pinterest feed this week, and that sparked an idea. So let me show you how to make this. We're going to use the gift bag punch board and a piece of cardstock, in our case Watermelon Wonder, that measures 4 by 11. And we're going to stick it in the gift bag punch board and punch, and then score across the top, and then bring this back just a little bit to score that first piece. Okay, and realign it and come down at the medium, and then bring that line over and punch, and score, and come down at the side, and around the gusset, and down, and then punch again, and score, and medium, and punch, and score across the top, and down the side, and around the gusset, and one last punch. And we'll put the gift bag punch board out of the way and pick up my little punch pieces. And we're going to start by angling our tab here, just a little bit. Okay, so then we want to crease all of our score lines. These are going to go out. And then score all of our, crease all of the tabs. <clears throat> and then it's time to add some adhesive. And I'm choosing to use the tear and tape for this because it's just so easy. Let me run and burnish and peel this up. And then you want to align right up to the score line and then this bag just needs one more piece of adhesive right across the bottom here and we're almost done Okay, and push this down and make sure all of this folds out because that's the look of this particular bag. Okay, now for handles, I have two pieces that measure a half inch by six and a half, and I'm going to just lightly soften them here in the middle. That will make them easier to add as handles. And again, I'm going to use the tear and tape because they're going to have a lot of tension on them. And you tape both uh, ends of the same side. And then I decided that I wanted to crisscross the tape so that I'd get a little extra sticky. Again, these are going to have a lot of tension on them because of uh, bending the cardstock around and we want it to hold. Okay, so we'll stick this first one on and I'll pause and do the second one. No sense watching how to do the whole. Okay. Got a piece of tape sticking out here, and then we're just going to line it up here and then bring this other handle around. Tuck a piece of tape under, and they appear to be even, and line them up. So give me a moment, and I'll be back with the other handle on. Okay, so the other handle is on, and now it's time to 
embellish and I have these gold basic metallic buttons that I've added a little tear and tape to that we're going to adhere right here to the ends of the handles to give them a little something and pull this one off and then my final embellishment is this little charm that I've made using the flower from Crazy About You and punching with the scallop punch. It's embossed in gold and has a piece of gold baker's twine run through. And I figured I needed the little charm on here since all of the Michael Kors bags have the little, little charm. So this holds a card, uh, a gift, a gift card, Ooh, some little candies, lots of lots of little uh, things, and they'd be fun on a workmate's desk or for a birthday or a, maybe a shower. Okay, and there you go. Our little little bag wasn't that easy. So a Michael Kors style handbag using the gift bag punch board. Thanks for stopping by. This was Sarah Levin. The Artful Inker. You can find me at theartfulinker.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then go check out my blog. Have a great day. Bye.